crazy about a Mercury Wii. Yeah, I'm crazy about a Mercury Wii. I'm gonna buy me a Mercury Wii and drive it on down the road. Ha <laughs> ha Greetings one and all and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. Yes, another two weeks without a video. Sorry about that, but uh, it's kind of, you know, with the smoky air from all the wildfires uh, on the West Coast lately, as well as, of course, the ongoing COVID thing. Will that ever end, honestly? Uh, you know, it's just uh, kind of understandable why I have felt very little creative urge lately. Uh, until just recently, though, because uh, the last few days we actually had some rain, some much-needed rain, thank goodness. Uh, so, And that very much cleared the air out. Uh, the wind has shifted, though, today, and a little bit of smoke is coming back into our area. But not a whole lot, but hey, any improvement uh, we're going to take. Because uh, it's, it's just, you know, it was absol absolutely awful uh, for the last week and a half around here. But anyway, I decided... Since I've got the urge, I might as well crank out a video. And it occurred to me that I haven't even done my bargain bag for September yet, and it's more than halfway through the month. And I'm usually jump right on that the first, the, you know, the first day of the month. Usually, I'm so eager to get to my bargain bag. But yeah, finally do a bargain bag here. I know I still have an A to Z to do this month, and I think I'm going to double up, uh, you know, and put out two A to Z videos over these three months, you know, just to kind of make up for the lost time going on. But anyway, yes, Bargain Bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of two mystery CD grab bags, seven CDs each, from the late Skips Records and CD World. And in between opening the two bags, I will talk about a CD that I have found or that you may be likely to find in a bargain bin near you. And it may or may not be one from the last pair of Bargain Bags. Spoiler alert. Uh, but before I get into any of that, I will talk about the CDs that I found in last month's pair of Bargain Bags. And uh, I keep these for about two weeks after the upload date of this video. So if any of you uh, are enthralled so much by the CDs that I don't decide, decide not to keep, let me know and we might be able to work something out. I might be able to send them to you. If you want uh, three CDs or fewer and you live in the States, postage is on me. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to work out an arrangement for postage. But anyway, I like to go in the review of last month's bag. I like to go in the order of uh, least liked CDs to my keepers. And that's the way I'm going to go here. A few of these CDs, the first few, the first three or four, were actually very, very scratched up. Uh, so keep that in mind if you think these might be appealing to you. They're probably not. Anyway, uh, Shares Greatest Hits. Uh, I did not even bother listening to this one, uh, partly because I didn't think it was going to play all the way through, but also because I have uh, all of Shares' uh, music that I care to have. In fact, I think I have a Greatest Hits collection. I'd have to look. But yeah. This has her stuff. This was made in 1999, it looks like, so probably her stuff on the uh, Geffen label or family of labels up to 1999. Yeah. Then we have Lil' Kim, her self-titled, no, the, no the Notorious K.I.M., you know, rap, hip-hop. I listened to the first two or three tracks of it, and I was done. No, nothing against it. It's just not my kind of music. And again, this one, bear in mind, is very scratched up. Uh, the first few tracks did not skip. But uh, I can't guarantee the rest of the tracks. Hey, if you're a huge Lil' Kim fan, the CD's up for grabs. Then we have Steve Warner, uh, Burning the Roadhouse Down. That's a, is a country artist. And eh, your basic run-of-the-mill country, nothing really jumped out at me about it. And it was kind of scratched up, so bear that, bear that in mind. And uh, then this one was a soundtrack, Mr. Holland's Opus. Uh, this was actually, uh, not this specimen, of course, but the CD, the title was actually in my sister's CDs. I ended up not keeping it uh, after a while, though, and in listening to this one, I remembered why. It's uh, Most of the songs are elsewhere in my CD collection, so I, you know, that for that part, it's mostly redundant. But also, uh, you know, the ones that weren't, I just, uh, you know, didn't really strike me in one way, one way or another. But it is a good collection of songs, uh, Imagined by John Lennon, and... Uh, other stuff, you can look up the track listing online to see it. So, uh, And I have yet to watch that movie, but I'm going to put that on my short list of movies to watch just because, obviously, if my sister owns the, owns the soundtrack, owned the soundtrack, then she must have enjoyed the movie. So, And then we have Gary Stadler with Fairy of the Woods. This is instrumental, new agey, very tranquil, very laid-back kind of stuff. Good stuff that's good for relaxing. If you like low-key background music for studying or whatever, this might float your boat. But uh, 
Uh, not much uh, down my uh, lane as I mix metaphors, make it sound kind of stupid. You get my drift. It's, it's not my kind of thing. Then we have New Dark Ages by Felonius Bosch. Interesting artist name. Uh, this one is a kind of Celtic-inspired pop music. Uh, I, I have to really be in the mood to listen to Celtic music. It's a little melodically busy, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, it, it's not the kind of music for relaxing, really. That's, yeah, it was okay. And then uh, A Aphrodite by Ajax, or would it be Ajax by Aphrodite? I'm not sure. This is a five-track uh, EP. Kind of, uh, I want to say it's Acid House, although I'm, full confession, I'm not quite sure what Acid, Acid House is. But that's just kind of the two words that come to mind when I listen to this. You know, uh, alternative uh, with a slice of electronica in it. But, yeah. Not bad. It was just not quite enthralling enough for me to keep. And then we have a couple of uh, indie pop, indie rock kind of things. Uh, All the Saints with their self-titled album. Nothing really to say about it, honestly. Uh, yeah. And then Libby Johnson with her album Annabella. Again okay stuff. Not, doesn't really float my boat, I guess you'd say. And coming up on the, I've actually got five CDs left. The last one will be, spoiler alert, my Spotlight CD for the month, so I'll talk about it in a few minutes. The other four are uh, Keepers in a Way. First one, uh, Alan Jackson, his Greatest Hits collection. Uh, I actually kind of like this stuff. I didn't, I've never really had my eye or ear on Alan Jackson before, but um, I was kind of surprised at how many of the songs on this collection I recognized. wouldn't say I was familiar with them, just because I don't listen to country habitually. But, uh, yeah, Chasing That Neon Rainbow and uh, Don't Rock the Jukebox. And he actually does two covers on this album, Summertime Blues and, oh, this one on here, it's called Mercury Blues. But uh, Crazy About a Mercury is the, the line in the chorus that you might be familiar with. But, yeah. So I'm actually thinking about, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. It is a little bit scratched up, but it plays just fine. But it's actually tempting me to, uh, oh, it's not that bad. It's actually tempting me to pick up his uh, two-disc Essential Alan Jackson, just to get a little bit more of a cross-section of his music. So I may or may not keep this one. So if you're really interested in it, uh, ask me, and we'll find out. <laughs> That's vague, isn't it? Anyway... Uh, Swamp Boogie Queen is the next one here. Uh, Ill Gotten Booty is the name of the album. Never heard of these guys, and uh, it is kind of, as the name of the group implies, Swamp Boogie Queen. It's kind of uh, swamp rock, very bluesish kind of stuff. Not bad, kind of entertaining, but what really blew me away by this, produced by Phil Ramone. Phil Ramone and Elliot Shiner. Uh, don't remember, don't recognize Elliot Shiner, but hey, Phil Ramone produced this, and it's, it's an, an indie release which kind of, you know, shocked me to see such a well-known name as Phil Ramone as being the producer or co-producer of this. So I'm going to uh, hang on to this and give it a few more listens. I, I kind of, uh, it sounds like something that it could end up growing on me some. So, And then this one was another bit of a surprise. Uh, is It is the name of the band. I-Z-I-T. You can kind of see it through the uh, half-torn-off uh, price sticker on there. And the name of the album is The Whole Affair. This is kind of acid jazz type of stuff uh, with a, a real good groove, kind of an R&B type of groove to it. Very cool stuff. Uh, it's you know a couple of catchy tunes on it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, give this several more spins before I pass judgment on it. But yeah, I rather like this stuff, and uh, uh, it's making me think about checking out to see if they have any other albums out there. So... And then the next to last CD in the bags, but the last one I'm going to talk about right now, is Stir. Uh, this is a band that I have had their second album, Holy Dogs, for several years. Oh gosh, close to 20 years. And I really, really enjoy it. And I had listened to this one back in the day, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Didn't think much of it at the time. Got rid of it. And ever since then, since I was reminded how good Holy Dogs is, kind of kept my, op my eye open for this one. And lo and behold, it was in one of the bargain bags. So... Uh, very good stuff. Uh, indie rock, basically. Uh, alt rock from the mid-90s. 96 is when this one... And yeah, Holy Dogs came out in, I think it was 98. So, uh, but yeah. Stir is an interesting group. I may be talking about them in depth on my channel at some point uh, in the not-too-distant future. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty good album. Okay, now time for the moment that some have been waiting for. The opening of the first of the two Mystery CD grab bags. And I think I might take this moment to pose for my 
thumbnail, which I usually do at the very beginning of my recording, but I haven't yet. So, how about this? And here we go with the customary peekaboo, which you can see what's in here before I do. And let's see what we got here. First disc. Loud Lucy. Never heard of this group. Could be interesting. A 1995. And it looks like an indie rock kind of a group. Yeah, you can kind of see. Looks like your average run-of-the-mill indie rock. Hopefully it won't sound average run-of-the-mill. We got Zero Hour Reservoir. And I'm not sure which is the title and which is the artist. But it looks like I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can count. Seven uh, tracks on here. Oh, one of them is called San Clemente, which is the town that I spent, a beach town down in Southern California that I spent a fair amount of my youth in. So a, a childhood connection to the CD, even though I have nev not listened to any of it yet. It'll be interesting. And we have uh, Future Rhythms. That sounds like it might be promising. Oh, actually, I think it's a compilation. Oh, yeah, it says right there, a compilation produced by MCT. So, yeah, handful of uh, mixes of various types. Electronica, I would assume. And we have Jim Crow with the album Empty My Mind. I have nothing to say about Jim Crow because I've never... I'm not crazy about his laws, but thank goodness they're not on the books anymore. And we have... Hmm. Are these... Ladies sound familiar? I have a feeling they're a country group. Mulberry Lane. And the CD is actually still sealed. So uh, it is. Run Your Own Race. So I'll be curious to listen to this. And uh, sixth out of seven CDs in this bag. Uh, we have The Hal Lovejoy Circus. American Made is the name of the album. And again, have absolutely no idea who they are. Track two is called Get Off That, followed by track three called Hot Pants. <laughs> track six is called Space Man. Space, comma, man. Clever. And we have... That one went pretty far. I should measure them, how far they go. And we have, oh, I've heard of these guys before, and I might have actually even listened to this CD before. It's a group called Odds, and... Are they Canadian? I can't remember. They, they might actually be a Canadian band, which was might have been why I checked them out off back in the day. The uh, album is called Bed Bugs. So, uh, yeah, be interested to uh, listen to that. So, there you have it for the first bag. Okay, now, as for the Spotlight CD in this month's Bargain Bag video, as I mentioned before, it is one of the 14 discs that I pulled out of last month's Bargain Bags, just because I couldn't think of a good one off of my shelf, out of my collection, to do this month and I was lacking inspiration, but when the CD came along, to be honest, when I pulled it out of the bargain bag, and even at the time I put it into my CD changer a couple weeks ago, I was not holding out high expectations for it. I didn't think I was going to be particularly uh, impressed by it, but it actually, actually ended up being a very entertaining album, honestly. It is the soundtrack from My Best Friend's Wedding. Uh, it is a movie that I have never seen, and I don't have any particular desire to see it. I might eventually, but uh, this was a very fun album, I have to say. And what made it fun is that it is, for the most part, a collection of covers of Burt Bacharach and Hal David songs. And I've always enjoyed their song, uh, their their songbook, their their catalog. And uh, this is just this is actually it's a very, uh, as I said, a very entertaining album. Uh, I say a little prayer, which was I believe Diane uh, Dion Warwick, Diane Warwick, made that famous. Uh, Diana King uh, sings it on here. That's where I got the Diane and D Dion mixed up. Uh, Annie DeFranco sings Wishing and, Ho and Hoping, which was. I want to say, was that a Dusty Springfield hit? Or I cannot remember who it was it did. I probably got that wrong. And then Jan Arden sings You Don't Know Me. That's actually a Great American Songbook standard. It's not a Backrack David song, but she does a fantastic rendition of that. Everybody that does songs on here is fantastic at them. And Nikki Holland sings I Just Don't Know What To Do With Myself, and I think that is also a Backrack David. Uh, Tony Bennett is on this album. He sings The Way You Look Tonight, which, was an old, which is an old standard 
Uh, Jackie D. Shannon sings What the World Needs Now is Love. Beautiful rendition of that. As I said, every song on here is just fantastic. And one of the things that uh, kind of caught my eye in the track list and uh, caught my ear when I listened to it was Amanda Marshall sings what I believe is an original song called I'll Be Okay. And Amanda Marshall's first CD was in my sister's collection. I inherited it from her. I liked, I listened to it, enjoyed it, so I kept it and enjoyed it enough that I looked for her sophomore album and I found it back uh, up in Portland last year, the end of last year, I think, when I was up there, and enjoyed that one as well. So, uh, And I found out that this song, I'll Be Okay, is not on either of Amanda Marshall's albums. So that make it made it a, a bit more of a, a bonus, I guess you'd say. But yeah, this is a very interesting and entertaining collection of songs. Uh, yeah, uh, female, mostly female songs, uh, covers of Back Rank and David songs, as I mentioned. So yeah. I recommend checking it out if you have a fondness and affinity for the Backrack David songbook especially. Very fun, worthwhile album. And now for the final of the two grab bags. That was kind of a short review of that album, wasn't it? Although, you know, when it's a covers album, there's not a whole lot to say about it, honestly. But uh, yeah, that one was fun. Worthwhile songs. The bag is open, as you can see. And we have other peekaboo at the contents of it, as I try not to inadvertently give you guys the middle finger. Sorry about that. Um, first one we have here is, oh, Sade, Love Deluxe. The case is in really nasty condition, so I'm going to... Yeah, the CD's in pretty nasty condition too, so yeah. it's, it's just something that's going to happen, is bound to happen with CDs that end up in bargain bags. And, oh, I sense a theme. The best of Sade. Or, uh, another shot. I actually have this one, so I'm just too curious to. Oh, there's, there's grime on the label side of the CD, so that's not a good sign. Yeah, really messed up. Awesome. And then we have two guys. I don't know who they are. Uh, Sergio and Odair Assad play Piazzola. I don't know who these guys are, and I don't know who Piazzola is, so I'm lost. But I will listen to this uh, nonetheless. Um, Italian, it looks like, uh, probably Italian classical or uh, otherwise instrumental, possibly new agey stuff. And, oh, some well-known artists in here. Gypsy Kings with their album Compass or Compa. Oh yes, there's there's a, a genre of music called Compa. Oh, Kasav, I think when I did Kasav in my A to Z, I heard of, that's when I became aware of Compa music. So. It says a bit of a Caribbean, possibly Cajun overtones is basically what compa is. So that could be interesting to listen to. I have a Best of Gypsy Kings CD. So then we have oh another Gypsy Kings. <laughs> this is the 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 twofer uh, bag, two albums by different artists. Another Gypsy Kings album. Este Mundo is the uh, name of this one. And yeah, uh, Latin stuff. Gypsy Kings are actually pretty a pretty talented group. They do uh, Latin music. Not sure what genre you'd call, you know, what subgenre of Latin music you would call it. They, they, I think they do a variety, pretty much, of Latin variety of stuff. And another Gypsy King CD. Mosaic is the name of this one. So I've got some Gypsy Kings listening to do. We have. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do my customary. Global Chill Out Lounge Volume 3. So. Going to be some, obviously, some chill out music. <laughs> Gee, who'd have thunk it with a title like that, right? Yes, I'm brilliant like that sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, we have an interesting, not so much a variety of stuff in that bag, but uh, an interesting assortment. Let's put it that way. But anyway, yes, uh, that will do it for my bargain bag for the month of September 2020. That went by quite a qu kind of quickly, didn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the link to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, everyone. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.